Hey guys, welcome to your first Ulvo Masterclass. Today we're going to talk a little bit about how to score a baseball game. In my opinion, I think scoring is uh, much more than an administrative task. It's also a task that's going to help keep you in the game. It's also going to help you understand a little bit more about what baseball is and how particular plays are made. I've passed out a key. On this key are most of the plays that you come across in baseball. It's two pages. It's a lot to read and take in at once. That's why I've done this masterclass to, to help explain a little bit about what's going on. Uh, I've also uh, handed you guys an, uh, an empty scorecard. Now what we're going to do is we're going to fill this out today uh, on the basis of a game that I've uh, created. Uh, keep in mind it's one of the most exciting baseball games you're going you're gonna to hear because all the plays happen in every inning and it's going to be fantastic and it's certainly going to be something you want to pay attention to. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk you through a baseball game. Uh, I've, I've arranged the lineup based on uh, uh, our own players. There's no particular order into it or anything like that. I'd suggest you guys sit down, take the key in one, in one hand and the, the empty scorecard in the other, and uh, follow uh, what I'm talking about here and follow my, uh, uh, my game. Uh, in either the left screen or the right screen, I haven't decided yet. I'll come up with that in, uh, in editing. Uh, You'll see uh, how I'm uh, notating uh, the, the or keeping the score, and uh, we'll figure it out from there. All right, over catch. Here we go. I have leading off Emil, Mike, Raúl, Arye, Casper, Damian, Gary, York, Milo. I'll say it one more time. If you still don't get it, you can go ahead and rewind the video and write it down yourself. Emil. Mike, Raul, Arye, Casper, Damien, Gary, Yorick, Milo. Alright, now that we've got the batting order sorted out, we can start scoring. We're the visiting team, so we're batting first. Emil is up first, takes a few pitches, then eventually he gets his infield single to the left side of the infield. Up next is Mike. Mike hits his outfield single to left field. Because of Mike's outfield single, Emil advances to second base. You mark that down with a two. Up next is Raul. Well, Raul is feeling a little swing happy today and ends up striking himself out because of that. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. K, put a circle around it, he's out. Up next, Arie. Arie, is one, of, one of his goals this year is to uh, get fewer hits but get on base more often. He's going to be working on his on base percentage and he does that right here, right now. And he takes the walk. Uh, his walk advances Mike to second and Emil to third, of course. So you mark that down in your scorecard by putting Arie's batter number four uh, in the second base slot for Mike and the third base slot for Emil. Right now we have bases loaded, and that's cool. Casper's up next, uh, but he's played out at first base by shortstop. That's a 6-3 play, so you mark that down by saying 6-3 with a circle around it for Casper. Um, on this play, however, Emil scores, so 5 and a dot in the middle for Emil. Uh, Mike moves his way up to third. And Arie, of course, makes his way up to second. We got two outs now. Up next is Damien. Damien, for one reason or another, uh, takes a few pitches, uh, but then there's a, a, a wild pitch in there, and that wild pitch goes behind the catcher, and because it goes behind the catcher, Mike ends up scoring on the wild pitch. Then Damien gets hit by the pitch. The pitch is really not having his day, so Damien gets an HBP and makes his way down to first base. Next up is Gary. Gary, the swing happy mother that he is, <laughs> hits himself a double. First double of the season. Not so bad, huh? So he's out to two, and because of his hit, Damien moves over to three, and Arie scores. 
Not bad, huh? Next up, York. York swings at the first pitch, hits it down to shortstop. They could get him out at first base for the easy play, but instead what they do is they make the play at home. So shortstop gets the ball, throws it to home, tags Damien out. This is not a hit for York, uh, even though he'd made it safely to first base, despite the three outs. Leave that aside for now. But York gets marked down as an FC for fielder's choice, and Damien gets marked down as a 6-2 for being tagged out at home. That's three outs, that's the end of the inning. All right, now that we've gone through all the, 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 the nine pitch inning of uh, striking out the other side, we're back up at bat and it's awesome. Milo's up, number nine hitter. Whoever put him as a number nine hitter, I don't know, but that's where he is. Uh, he swings at the first pitch, also a little swing happy, first game of the season, you know how it goes. Pop up into left field. Easy play. Left fielder drops it though. Milo makes his way over to first. It's an error on the left fielder that gets him to first, so it's an E7. But what does he see? He sees that the ball gets by the left fielder and that center fielder is coming, covering left field. So Milo makes a run for it. Makes it to second. No problem. He sees a little bit of hesitation, so he tries and goes for third. But there is no hesitation. And the center fielder picks up the ball throws it down to the cutoff, player number six, position number six, and then get him out at number at third base, position number five. So we mark that down as an E7 to the first base, and then he makes his way around, tries to get to third, doesn't make it, and it's an 8-6-5 play at third base. One out. Bummer. Next up, Emil. Emil, happy with his infield single the first time up, wants to have a little bit more excitement uh, coming this time up, Swings at the first pitch, goes right into left field, but this time the left fielder catches the ball. It's a fly out, F7, circle around it, two down. All right, now, can Olvo get our two out rally going? We're about to see. Mike's up. Mike also liked his, uh, his single in the first inning, but Mike also wants a little bit more excitement. So he starts swinging, swinging really hard, foul tip, foul tip, foul tip, and then boom, makes good contact. Hits a double, makes his way out to second base cleanly for a stand-up double. Ain't that some shit. Next up, Raul. Now, Raul, he's calmed down a little bit from his first at-bat. He's got his first K of the season out of the way. All right, that's cool. He's a 17-pitch at-bat, 2-2 count, super exciting. Gets himself out onto first base with a base on balls, a walk. Now, we mark that down with a BB. Next up is Arya. Arya's taken a few pitches, fouling a few pitches off. He's already done his on-base percentage goal in the first inning, and now he's really looking to hit. Meanwhile, Raul's thinking about his goal of 30 stolen bases this year. Gets first stolen base of the year in this game, steals his way out to second base. So we mark that out with an SB for second base. So now he's on second. Uh, Mike's on third. And, uh, and Ari is swinging away, makes contact, it's a beautiful triple, an absolutely beautiful triple. And this triple brings in Mike and Raul, of course. So we mark down Ari is batter number four, we mark down in Raul and Mike's spot all the way around, number four, dot in the middle to, to signify a run, and we're good. All right, so next up after Ari is Casper. Casper swings at the first pitch, out into left field again. Casper does make it to first base, so it's a hit. Boom, let's mark it down. Uh, Arie does make it home. Casper also sees some hesitation from the outfielders. Thinks, hey, you know what? I'm going to make a run for second base. Casper's got a little, bit, a little bit of an ankle problem this playing up, though, so he's not as fast as he thought he was. There was no hesitation out in the outfield after all. I mean, the outfielder's waking up too. And boom, they get him out at second base. 7-4 play. Third out ends the inning. All right, I'm going to stop here. That's most of the plays. I think you got a pretty good idea as to how to mark down a play, uh, how to advance a runner, uh, how to score runs and mark the end of an inning and all that. If you have any questions, by all means, please do get in touch with me. And... Don't be scared when I pass you the scoring book uh, during the game. Uh, 
if you follow this video and you follow the key and you have any questions and you ask me for some clarification, I'll be glad to give you an answer. And this year we're all going to be working on some scoring, uh, scorekeeping. All right, have a good one out there, guys. Rock on. O -B -O -B -O -B -O.